Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm here in a lovely village of Saiso. I'm on my way to West Park in Bedfordshire. I've just got the MX1 bus from Luton, which is about, was about half an hour ride. Uh, so yeah, I'm on the way to, it should, should be about 10 minute walk. Uh, it's a bit cloudy today, uh, so hopefully it doesn't rain while I'm on my way to West Park. Uh, West Park is an English heritage site, so hopefully I can take some more videos uh, when we get there. But, um, so yeah, that's um, West Park, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long getting there. Right, we are arrived at the entrance West Park. Uh, there's a, obviously the two gatehouses. And unfortunately, it's going to be a bit of a walk down the drive, which I will do. Um, and let's see how long it takes us from the entrance. It's only taken uh, probably about five minutes from the bus stop to this point. So, here goes. West Park is a country estate located in Bedfordshire, England. It comprises West Park, a Grade 1 listed country house, and West Park Gardens, also Grade 1 listed, former gardens shrined in the mansion. The present house was built in 1834 to 1839, and English Heritage took over the house and gardens in 2006. This is now a short photo preview of Inside the House. Is it orangery? Thomas Earl de Grey built the orangery in the 1830s to replace an earlier building. Right, welcome to the orangery. Unfortunately, there's no plants in here today apart from the handful. But quite an empty space. And it's quite spacious also, so as I say, this is never look up as well. There we are. There's the as you can see in there, there is a perfect view right so from the other orange It's back on the wall. There we are, so this is the orangery at West Park. This is the Bowling Green House and it was probably built as early as 1706 but was remodelled by architect Batty Langley in 1735. It was used for entertaining and providing views across the park and shelter for those watching the bowling. This is the pavilion which stands at the end of the long water. 
It was built between 1709 and 1711 to provide a focal point for the gardens and offered splendid views towards the house and into the great garden. The pavilion was used for taking tea but also had facilities for more elaborate entertainment. This is the inside of the pavilion. Right, this is the pavilion at the end of the grounds. Uh, I do probably get the light levels here. There isn't really much to say. I've got various side rooms. There's a side room there. There's a staircase leading down and leading up. And then there's a staircase there also. The door's closed because of conservation. So that's the pavilion. So like I said, there's not much to say. So, um... I have to head back into the house.